Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighter's League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. It's been a blast so far. We are in week number seven and uh, the enemies are starting to ramp up. And really our decision is shall we help and capture new allies or shall we just go and sabotage the main missions. I like the idea of getting those sweet, sweet skill points, but we also need a broader roster. Unfortunately, as far as I do understand, these two here are not really going to add to our roster. They are just going to be like the Smith, um, people that will help us to spend our resources, <clears throat> but that's okay. Upon a little bit of uh, reflection, I think what we're going to do is we're doing the same as always. We're going to be greedy. The thief here is uh, mm, uh, going to farm resources, flash talisman and more resources from Anna Sophia. And we're going to two men this mission here. Two and a half skulls should be able to do that. Um, we got one bandage, but quite a bit of extra stuff. And we got more hit points thanks to our freshly or newly acquired uh, Vitality Cloak. So let's join the mission and give it a good slap. Let's go, boys. Recruit Mother Amina. <clears throat> Yet another two-person mission since I am so greedy. But that's fine. I believe limitation always increases your creativity and problem solving. Good to know. Now nah, let's get this guy. And this guy. Fantastic. Well worth uh, the investment of uh, the two charges. Sure, why not? Boom, boom. There we go. Let's go, boys. Killed four. Before this is even starting. All right, everybody gets inspired. Hmm. Sure, let's mark these creatures. Want to dance? Very good. They are marked and in danger. Hit and hit. Let's go. Crit leads to a fresh reload and also to a dazing. Fantastic. Farewell. You know what? Let's just get both of them down. Somehow there is a third enemy somewhere. I don't yet know where. But we're going to find out soon. Now you know your place. And that's a knockout from the knockout. There we go, there's the last enemy. I think we're going to see teleported uh, reinforcements.
Moving over. Double hit. Blap, blap. Very nice. That's a hit into dealing with that guy. I think the only real answer here is knocking them down. <laughs> I think enemies are going to come in. Yep, no surprise. Moves up without taking damage. Um, and we're just taking full cover here. really get over there so might as well sprint over here enemies are teleporting in reloading into one no no two no, still no. Okay, skip all of that. Okay, so we're moving up all the way to here. I'm just going to give myself evasion so that we're ready for next round. Going somewhere? Nice, good hit. Oh, you can jump over. That changes everything. Double miss. Let's try that again. Good, much better. That's a kill. This is going to put him off feet. Yep, knock down. All right, Ingrid just continues to massacre him. All right, good. Improved our position. This way. Okay, a couple of things that we need to take into consideration. There must be loot somewhere. More than just lore. Eddie cannot open a single one of these doors. Howdy. You the one Locke sent us to grab? Oh, tell him Locke. <laughs> I told him not to shed blood on my account. Please, Gam. What are her abilities? Move, Prayer of Mending. Heals a lot, uh, so what might as well heal 999. Okay, cool. Throw Magdalene Balm. Uh, healing ability heals 30 hit points uh, to teammates in the target area. Are you kidding me? 
These abilities are fantastic. Alright. Yeah, we don't need to heal up when we do have that character. Alright, let's follow uh, let's follow me ladies. Is what Eddie would say. Just double checking that there is nothing hidden. One thing that I, that I learned about this game, there's always something hidden. And the game didn't like it. Alright, let's try this again. No idea why the game just decided to not play ball anymore. Cool. Was that it? Is that the entire mission? We went in, killed a couple of people, and that's really it? Sure is a lot of firepower around here. Why'd they want you dead so bad? Okay, I was about to say there is potentially a second fight, isn't there? Oh no. There is a melee right up there. Should have just uh, used the rush attack in order to get through. Anyways, do I have to do everything myself? let's get everybody inspired. Thank you. Eddie could hit two, but that's not good enough for my taste. Instead, he is hitting that girl twice. One. Okay. <laughs> Should have. Correct uh, thing would have been uh, to to attack her twice. Uh, well, our mother is going to move to here. Nice. That was the ranged ability uh, from Ingrid from the card that we have given her. Cool. Well, that's just a finisher. A good one. Pushing that guy down with a big fat knockdown. And following up with a slick attack. Blinding. Into getting a bonus move to here. Uh, hey, Numet, why did you join us to sell us the line about uh, seeing the world? They sold uh, me my own potential you seal. I'm going to be a magister and I'll make all of those fools uh, back home pay. My classmates, my parents, all of them. Uh, sounds like a healthy motivation, if I may say so. All right, end phase. Okay. Lots of melee characters. That was your last chance. Uh, that's one kill. Good, we're moving up. And that. Buffalo Bill, <laughs> Good dob double hit. With said double hit, we are being set up to kill. 
And now also to move in. And that's it. We picked up an ether. Stay put. I think that was the resource that we didn't have so far. Going to get second wind, mainly for the flash bombs. Let me hold on to this. Cool. The ether. I think that's the resource that we haven't gotten yet and I don't know exactly what it is good for but I remember it was very val uh, very valuable it was second one from the right hand side and last time we checked it had to do something with upgrades non-functional parts Okay, we don't need that. But it was to be expected that we wouldn't get a second win if there wasn't a really good reason for that. Moves to here. Oh, I see. Okay, wait. Eddie. Right, go there. Ah, I wanted to sprint through them. Fortunately, we didn't completely make it. Well, close but no cigar. You know what they say, right? Okay, I can explode that as well, which means Ingrid needs to be somewhere else. And. What a better place to be. Come on. Then push kicking the sniper I am tired of right into the wall. That is fantastic. That now gives us the option to Light them up, as they say. <laughs> Knockdown dazed. Fantastic. Loving it. One. Two. Three. Four. Eddie just goes crazy. That's a kill. I think since it is the last fight, might as well go ham. We're getting another nice killer instinct proc. That's the last killer instinct that we're going to get. And with stick and move, 
where you can hit him and still continue moving into full cover <laughs> nice One, two, let's go. Don't come cheap, by the way. Look at you. One, two. Very good hits. We're just going to heal you guys. I would like to have that pocket healer in every single mission super good arguably in her own way even better than our uh, healer Sophia you can't stop me put evasion on ourselves and the face yep Good, friendly reload, thank you. Into hit and hit. Well, this is awkward. Double miss. Not exactly what I was expecting. Line them up, knock them down. Let's move. That card is good. The snipe is fantastic. Really good ability for her. Okay, we could have just done the super secret way here. Oh, second uh, wind. Well, I have to wait, wait, wait. I'm seeing enemies. Good, I think we just handled all three of them without even entering combat. Not bad. I'll take it. A few more supplies. Getting the iron key, all right, mother, I think. Bit of a prayer of mending was helpful. This way. Oh, come on, really? Sure, everybody just jumps in. Packing some more bandages and healing a little bit more. Okay, cool. As I was saying, don't just step into the hot, burning, molten things. I mean, it kind of goes without saying, but apparently not for them. Everybody tries to be extra cool. Leap jumps or leapfrogs over that barrel 
just to land in the middle of a smoldering fire. A job well done. Pace is wild. Good. That was completely optional here, but also completely worth it. Lots of extra supplies and a mode of faith. And a second wind and a little bit more combat. That was pretty good. Are you telling me we missed the key? I think the guy upstairs here had one. There we go. Let's try that again. She's such a strong character. Mother Amina. I don't think we can take her onto missions. Low cooldown, high impact healing. Six guild points gained. And our card reveals the rogue and the monument. We have the monument so often. I still don't like it. The stress isn't great. Range ability accurate at medium range. Cool. Range ability deals damage that ignores armor. I like that herald ability. That movement, I don't like it as much. You can always move one less than the maximum. But if you move the maximum, it costs you 15 hit points. I like this one here. And it is ability level 2. But the Herald is great. So which one are we going to get rid of? The Fallen is good as well using the herald very regularly and it sucks because she needs ranged attacks and this here is great yeah I think I, I'm sort of hating myself for that Breathe out when you squeeze the trigger. But this is good. What did you find out? Search complete. We get more healing and some sort of item. And search is even more complete. We get an armor and more of the material. So the court themselves have built up a credible threat. Unfortunately, you can't do all of it at the same time. So for starters, we're going to unlock Weaponsmith uh, 2, which will give us Frag Grenade 2 dynamite as well as unlock tier 2 armor and weapon mods that in itself is good we like it this here will require uh, ka which i don't yet know what that exactly is vitality gear 2 as well as unlocking tier 3 armor and weapon mods 
And this here is Bombardier's Brace, Accessory, Grenade Abilities, Refund 1 AP. I see, okay, so it's free grenading, and then we're getting to the cool stuff down there. Since we are currently blocked with these KAs, I'm wondering if we want to take this here as an accessory. Melee attacks have a chance for cooldown reduction. For me, that sounds like good investment. Aha. Let me know how this performs in the team. And this here is the whole melee route. Uh, Weaponsmith consumables can be created with 25% fewer resources. Okay. Melee attacks gain 10% chance uh, to give 1 AP. Oh, that's fine as well. And then on top of it, trauma battery for even more chance to gain more AP. Okay, I see how this is going. So that is good, I would say. Let's what are the supplies offering us? So look at that. Vitality gear 2. 60 hit points and 3 maximum stress. Then speed suit, which isn't bad either. I like it. Body armor for plus 10. Oh, and yeah, I can see. We might want to save a few more supplies. I'm being too loose with uh, just get uh, getting all of them. Because some of this here looks great, and when the real kickers come along, I want to be able to afford them. Which brings us to agents. I'm still pretty sure that this here is good. Upgrading the Fallen to the Fallen uh, level 2 is a good idea. It's now dealing more damage. And the rogue level 2 is also dealing more damage. So, um, lo and behold, it now costs 128 to upgrade. So, I think it is way, wor uh, way more worthwhile to upgrade all of the abilities to uh, 2 instead of having some of them at 3. Although, you don't know how they scale. Maybe there is an exponential... An exponential scaling. The pride of Buber Nijar. From Buber Nijar, Cameroon, comes the tale of a pride of an indomitable lion uh, with with uh, coats white as moonlight. Rumor has it no hunter has be um, best them, and the stories of their human-like cunning about. The Harris Group, a band of poachers known to work with the banished court, is tracking the great beast, eliminating the group would safeguard countless natural wonders and inconveniences the court is at the same time. So we either get uh, ink, we get a few supplies, or we get uh, points, skill points. We're going to go for skill points, no question. When the broad shoulders of strangers step into the hotel lobby, the lead poacher senses trouble. Sure enough, Eddie uh, sends him an ultimatum, leave by noon or enjoy a fast trip to an early grave. Okay, cool. Yeah, Eddie has the nuts we get to sp which is good which now brings us to the question of do we want killer instinct uh, three and that's not really a question i think uh, that's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy of course we want it and we want to use those extra two sp in order to get hot pursuit uh, we are now at a very solid 45 physical damage. We started with 35, so we've already upgraded it substantially. Um, thanks to the passive bonus on almost all of them. And we're coming in at 180 hit points, which is sizable. We are definitely a good tank. <clears throat> Next up, I would want to get these Serenities here, or Sir, I don't know what it is. I'm just thinking Serenity. Uh, to upgrade uh, her weapons. In absence of that, agility is the next power grab because plus one speed is really, really damn good. And then we're going to go for...
cooldown reduction with a femme fatale that seems good i'm just going to max her out for now that seemed very very helpful flash talisman weapon mod uh, weapon gains a 25 chance a percent chance to inflict a blinding on hit hmm. you know what why not she can use it might as well do so I originally wanted a bit of a different uh, strategy with her, uh, giving her the uh, critical hit chance, but you know what? We're fine. Uh, what I learned is don't over equip uh, your characters, make sure that you get your resources in order and make sure that your skills are being unlocked in time. That seems to be really important because this here is permanent power. Interestingly enough, everybody else kind of uh, mm, just basic and heads up uh, uh, mm, heads down to Eddie because for not having invested anything just like he's the basic Eddie he's actually doing quite well I must say um, of course Ingrid with now being like uber strong carries more of it but uh, Eddie is good I like it, it warms the heart to help you How do I get that? Weaponsmith item, mechanical vembrance. Uh, do we have that? Um, damage talisman, armor shred talisman, speed suit. No, we can build it. So we got dynamite. Dynamite seems to be very good. Uh, we got a couple of frag grenades. Might as well use frag grenade too. Ah, there we go. Self buff. Melee attacks gain a 33% chance to reduce cooldown. See, if we're just getting a item in every single slot, that is good. And she has two ranged attacks on top of it. Good. Ingrid definitely rules. What does dynamite do? Grenade, targeted, timed explosive that detonates one round after. Uh, yeah, not sure. Maybe together with knockdown, but even then. Not 100% sure. Good. Well, you know, uh, that seems like a pretty... So oh, wait, 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 wait. Before uh, I am finishing. Oh... It has the same resources, ether, I see. Ether, okay. Well, what is our option here? Rewards, a med kit, and a hasten flask uh, one, as well as unlocking tier one items at the supplier. Signature abilities heal 30 hit points to the user. Ooh. Oh, that is good. Healing abilities also uh, clear debuffs. Well, that's good, but I think they are already doing that. Uh, increase the number of consumables by one. Uh, we already have that, but a second time wouldn't be bad. Recovery consumables can be uh, created easier. Okay, fair enough. Tier 2 items, also not bad. What else do we have? Passive. Being healed increases armor by 3. Hmm. Okay. Upon receiving a heal, the agent also receives one AP. Okay, now we're talking. That is better than I would give. Could we? Our healer could uh, put themselves uh, the amulet on. Then they heal everybody. They receive healing. I don't know if it uh, counts if you are full health. I assume it does. So that would make the healing even freer. Healing abilities on consumables also remove stress. That is great. Charm of the Ethereal. Passive upon using a healing item. Agent gains one. Oh, that is good. 
Reload and evade ability also clear debuffs. Fantastic. Upon attacking, um, the agent heals three hit points. So that's life leech in a nutshell. It's 20 hit points when the agent lands a crit. Ooh, not bad. Which means this just further incentivizes that you are maximizing crits, right? Upon receiving a critical uh, hit, the agent has a 50% chance to heal 100 uh, hit points. That's good for a tank. Abilities and items have a 20% chance to fully heal the target. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right, yeah, strong uh, buffs. I like it. We definitely will invest a little bit of ether into that. Uh, seems like that's a really good uh, addition to our team. I am happy that we got her. But uh, as always, I think it could have waited just a tiny bit. Uh, interestingly enough, why does it say um, why does it say school plus? Um, okay, not a hundred percent sure why it does say so potentially because one of the enemies is there. Oh yeah, here. He's going to be there personally. What else do we have? Um, a safe house. Potential new recruit down there. Fair enough. Uh, well, I mean, we need her help, right? That would be funny to get Strom, uh, Strom all the way back. That Nicastro uh, prevention would be funny as well, but I do get the feeling that you can't always prevent everything. Here you get an additional uh, skill point because you are fighting the guy. And maybe we should just do the car uh, cartomancer. On top of it, we are reducing Marto. He's currently the one with the biggest progress. Nicastro will take over. Um, but that actually sh seems like a good plan for the next time. Uh, not sure if we can two, two man this, but so far it worked out, so might as well continue to try it. Anyways, that's the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the content so far. If you like Lamplighters League, now is a good chance to uh, let me know what your first impressions of the game are. We are like seven episodes in, so I assume only the ones that really are interested in the game are watching. So what are your impressions so far? Let me know. Thanks a lot and have a good day. Bye-bye.